In this video, I'll show you how to use the scanner on your HP Envi 6555E, 6155E or many other models as long as they have one of these screen on the left side. So let's get started right away. The first step if you want to use the scanners is to connect your printer to your Wi-Fi network because then afterwards we'll be able to connect your phone or your computer and get the results of the scan directly on your device. So let me show you how to connect your printer to the Wi-Fi. All right, so it's quite easy. You have to go on the menu, click menu, go down and you're gonna see settings, click on settings. Sometimes you have to touch multiple times the screen because it does not register. But once you're here, click network Wi-Fi, make sure Wi-Fi is turned on, so here it's blue, and then select Wi-Fi setup, okay? There's multiple options, click on the start beside Wi-Fi setup. Wait, it will search for all networks around this printer, they may be a few. Yours should be in the list that is showing right here, if not, just scroll down until you find yours. Click on it, click over here, and type the password of your Wi-Fi network. Then you're going to press OK and submit. Press OK. And now it's trying to connect to your Wi-Fi. If it's working, well, you're going to get a green check mark. And this is it. Your printer is now connected to your Wi-Fi network. So on your phone, you're going to open the Google Play Store or if you're on an iPhone, the App Store. And you need to download the HP Smart App. It's made by HP Inc. Go ahead and open the app when it's downloaded. The home screen of this app should look like this one. On the top, you should have an Add button to add a new printer. Go ahead and click on it. If you don't see it, like in my case, click on the plus sign on the top right corner. Then click on already connected to network. In this list, you should see your HP printer. Mine is over here, NV and Vi 6500E series printer. This printer has two different scanners. While a normal flatbed scanner over here, if I open this lid, okay, pretty regular and also a automatic document feeder on the top if you have multiple pages. Not all models have this additional scanner. So let me show you how they work. The top document feeder, I'll show you quickly. You need to open this flap over here. And let's say you have multiple pages. Okay, here I only have two, but put them together align them, glide them with the face upside, with the face pointing up and with the top part of your paper towards the left side. Simply glide them. You're going to hear a small beep that it has detected the paper and this is it. If you want to use the normal scanner, I will call it normal, but it's just a scanner glass. Take your paper. Let me take something else here this, put it facing down with the top part of your page towards the left side and you'll need to align this corner of your paper with this corner of the printer. So glide them until both are touching. Then close the lid and no matter which scanner you have um, input your paper, let me show you how to scan on your phone. So I'll go back on the main menu of this app. Okay, go down. And now select printer scan. Over here you have source on the lower left side. Click on it and make sure that the name of your printer is the one selected. Then on the top click here and you have page size. Input uh, the size of your paper. So mine is just letter size. I'll leave it uh, the default way. And then source, if you click here, if you have put um, your paper as I did over here on the scanner glass, select scanner glass. And if you're using the top document feeder, select document feeder. Go back. Then you have the resolution. If you're scanning uh, text, 
you can leave it to 200 dpi this is plenty enough for text files with some images but if you're scanning pictures select 300 dpi it will give you a better result with more details go back and then select if you want in black and white or color finally press the scan button and wait usually it takes around 13 seconds to get your scan on your phone so let's just wait it should come out in just a few seconds if you have selected 300 dpi it will take just a few more seconds okay perfect the scan has been done and it should appear right here next you're gonna get a square around something in your scan i don't know why they do this you need to press full so the full image is saved next i mean press the next button here and you have a few different options well on the top you have add which means that if you want to add multiple pages in your pdf file so everything is combined in one file go ahead put the next pages or page in the scanner press the plus button and they will be added you can have many here you have rotate if the rotation is not what you want text extract if you want to extract some text and also scribble if you want to make some annotation some drawings on your scan at the end you have a few options you have print preview whoops sorry let me go back you have print preview which is simply um, a way to print whatever you have scanned you have shared if you click here you'll be able to give the scan a name a different name than the default one that doesn't mean anything and then select which file type you would want this scan to be so if it's a text file select basic pdf if it's a picture select jpeg and finally you have language these things don't touch them just press share and you'll be able to share it on social media whatsapp messenger emails stuff of this nature if you go back you also have save which will save this scan on your smartphone memory for future use so you have all these three options here and yeah once you're done this is it you can go back on the main screen and you're good to go so thanks for watching i hope my tutorial was helpful if so please leave a like subscribe if you have a bit more time leave a like leave a comment down below if you want some uh, ink or some paper for your printer i'll put amazon links to compatible ink cartridges you also um, encourage my channel every time you purchase through my links and i'll see you in the next video